Hello. It's Ozzy. So recently, a new game came out on the PSN store called Memory of Mars. As you can see, I'm quite set myself up here, and I've played it quite a bit, and I've enjoyed the game thoroughly. One of the problems I have had with the game, though, is that there's not enough tutorials, nor is there enough explanations. They give you a little, you know, tutorial in the beginning to get the hang of the basics, but they don't go any of the, you know, crafting, or any of the places to find said, you know, materials, nor do they even go over, you know, how to get some end game tier essentially loot, like resources, because they're quite needed. So there's something called Tuturum, and for, because there's mark, marks in this, um, versions, I guess. There's Mark 1 gear, which is workers gear, there's Mark 2 gear, which is enforcers gear, and then there's Mark 3, which is you know, the strongest, but it's, you know, enforcers, mercenaries, sorry. And then there's guns, similar thing, Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3, you know, they just do more damage and, you know, are simply better the higher up they get. But anyway, to build said most, you know, Mark 3 equipment, you require Deuterium. And Deuterium is quite the rare resource. You can farm it from enemies, they're these jet things, I'll show you in a second. But they're quite difficult and they do have a one-shot kill attack. It's essentially a strafing run. They just back up, fly, and shoot a shit ton of rockets. And essentially that can, you know, just one-shot you. Especially if you're low-tier gear trying to get those level 3 weapons. Mark 3 weapons. So you can, you know, get lucky and just find them laying around. But a high chance is you're not going to. So there's something called... You, you see in a lot of PC videos that they use essentially there's these like snow areas and in these snow areas you build drills and that's usually how you get to do it you know but in the pc ones you use silicon as the fuel essentially and that you know mines some um you know material hold up i'll show you what the material looks like here we go this is deterrent it's just a blue substance it looks pretty normal but this is what you want to be, you know, doing. But yeah, anyway. So, essentially, but on console, it, if you even go into your drill with silicon, it won't appear. So, obviously, I'll show the drill in a second. But what you want to do is get acid and silicon. Hold up, this is the, the fuel. But you want to chuck silicon and acid into an, you know, a chemical processor. And the chemical processor is in the skill tree. It's right here, I believe. 3D printer, scrap grinder, chemical processor. There you go, the second after the scrap grinder. And that allows you to, you know, essentially that allows you to make tier two Mark II ammo, like resources to make Mark II ammo. And also allows you to make explosives, but what else, what else it does is allows you to make fuel. So we'll check that. Ah, this game has a lot of bugs. <laughs> so we'll check these in there, and as you can see, there you go, it's making fuel. It takes five acid and two silicon. Sadly, silicon is not rare, but rare. Like, there's places it, you know, it can spawn on, um, essentially just enemies as well as well, not all enemies, specific enemies, and they are strong, but they also appear on solar panels. And there are solar panels all around the map, but there's only really two to three locations. I'll show you one in the video, essentially. But essentially where that is, is you go into map, and here's two spots. There's here, just by, oh, I'm not going to try and pronounce it, but just Fluckus. This little interest mark is it's a little building and essentially there's there's an absurd amount of solar panels there but it only spawns three or four of them and it's pretty easy to tell because most resources have a light blue glint on them suggesting this is farmable but essentially all of them are broken except for three or four obviously you can find them in other areas like um platform Zarya, there are one or two two solar panels there but there's also a lot of the enemies that you know have silicon there as well there's these snake things or worms whatever you want to call them and it, they essentially have a chance of dropping it as well as these others the second location is over here by Angelus 
Again, similar spot, just one little building. I haven't marked this one, but essentially that's also the same thing. What this place, again, is dangerous. You know, the red name indicates, you know, enemy, a lot of enemy activity. But with this, there's not just this area, and again, they do spawn here, the enemies that actually can give you some silicon, but there's this little house here which again spawns one or two. You know, so there are little things here and there. There's the reactor, which we'll get into another video, but essentially, that these are the two locations that mainly spawn sil silicon, you know? And here's one of the two sites. This is, as you can see, there's a lot of solar panels and there's just a huge amount of them. Both sites look the exact same. It will not render in until you're extremely close though. So keep, keep running at that small little building and then they'll pop up. You know, they do it for obviously, you know, game performance reasons, which is fair enough. But as you can see, even though there's a billion of the things, you can only really farm three or four of them. They're easily distinguishable from each other. Sorry, I butchered that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you do get a bit, but not enough. So essentially, you will be going back and forth from, from these two spots, quite a you know large amount. But that's where you can also farm from the enemies comes in as well. And now we're in the snow area. So this is my snow base. I'll make a video on snow bases when you know, after, pretty soon I'll upload another, depending how this video does. But this is the deuterium extractor, aka the drill. You'll find it in, wrong one. You'll find it in, obviously, a skill tree building. And it's just right there, all the way at the end. So it is, of course, an end game thing, because the deuterium is an end game resource. And yeah, so this is it obviously, as you can see, I've already got fuel in there and it's already make, you know, doing deuterium. So as you can see, it's really cheap. One fuel for five deuterium. It used to be one fuel for 10, but the devs thought that was a bit much, which is understandable. But yeah, so I'm just gonna top that up and I should get a solid amount of deuterium out of that. But it does take a very long time. So obviously you you know you want to plan to put down one but to also expand in the future. So this is officially, you know, the deuterium, deuterium you know, drill. And this is the snow area that those jets are they also drop deuterium. But they're very strong, but they also drop a lot of flops. So it's like a you know, also drop it, um, explosive compound as well as a lot of high grade materials. They're quite useful and quite good. I highly recommend you farm them if you do have end game gear and you're just looking for some extra flops because they, and because they do just drop great stuff. This is a failed base. I tried doing two, but it didn't work out so well, but that's what it's there for. Everyone makes mistakes, but yeah. This is the drop explosives and how to make them. This is quite a bit since the demolition charge costs an exceptional amount of resources. And yeah, so essentially you get this powder, I'll put it back in there, called explosive residues. And you'll get this off some enemies. The only way to get this is off enemies. Other times you can get explosive compound, but this is what we're going to be making because explosive compound is not as not as um, common as explosive residue. That's actually quite common. And it doesn't tell you, if, another thing they don't tell you is how to make explosive compound. And, it's, and with, you know, com explosive residue. And they tell you to go to a de demolition bench, all right? There's no such thing. It's a chemical processor again, essentially. See this fuel? Instead of using it for the drill to get yourself some deuterium your the alternate thing to use it for would be essentially to make some explosives so i shall uh, i can use the little 60 i have in here to demonstrate so essentially we will drag this into here 
with the explosive residue and voila it takes five explosive residue and ten fuel so it can be quite expensive to make you know just some basic explosive compound and that's for raiding but because a lot of people don't know how to do the drills and to make the drills it's quite difficult because no one's using the drills essentially to make deuterium and so these explosives they're specialized for you know raiding and the only place you can raid is in the snow area and the snow area is the only place you get deuterium and the snow area is the only place you can set your drill because it's a pvp area get what i'm saying so essentially we want more people to put more drills there but currently there's only three people and they're all allies essentially you know there's me my clan my alliance leader and essentially our best friend so they're the three bases there but there's no one else there's only other people are raiding but they're not setting up their own bases and there's nothing wrong with that but at the same time for us who actually do you know have fun building bases and put them in there it's it sucks quite a bit i've been raided twice now it's like true the first time i lost a bit second time i literally lost nothing but it's not fair essentially because no one they they essentially no risk full reward you know they use one or two of these demolition charges because they're so strong and they get all this free shit so that's how you make explosives similar you know the fuel for the drill with some explosive residues and essentially you know ratings raids good fun but yeah so hopefully a few explosives should have been crafted by now let's check up oh, there you go too and so that's what it makes you know it's obviously i didn't put a lot of um fuel in there so it's not going to make a lot of ex you know explosive compound but that's essentially how you make that as well then again here's the fuel just in case silicon and acid makes the fuel this is one of the enemies that drop silicon as you can see he's blue there's a lot of different colors, but he's, you know, the ones that drop silicon are blue. As you can see in the top right, you're current, you know, I'm currently farming silicon. Also, this is one of the other sites where you can farm more silicon. It's, of course, again, the solar panels. And, yeah, I also wanted to, you know, quickly take this time to thank you for watching if you've gotten this far. And if you do like Memory of Mars's, you know, Memory of Mars content, like, you know, you like the game or you are playing it, I do intend to release more content on it and more information as well as just some fun highlights. Also, if possible, share this with your friends who do play Memories of Mars because we want as much people to know and learn the game because the devs have done a very poor job of explaining the game and a lot of the stuff in, in the game. So hopefully you found this helpful and share it with some friends. Teach them a new fact, you know, call, you know, goodbye, have a good time.